everybody. Welcome to my living room. It's nice to have you join me here for a little bit. I'm just going to spend a minute doing something that, um, you know, I could call it a discipleship moment, I suppose. Um, I'm going to give you a little something to think about because it's going to be a, a, a pretty quick little deal. So this is not something I'm going to really try to unpack. But I just wanted to, to chat with you for a minute. And I'll be coming to you every month here for a little bit. And uh, you know, it's an interesting time we live in, isn't it? <laughs> I think everybody would agree with that. One of the the joys that I have found um, during this time of uh, pandemic and quarantine and whatever <laughs> whatever you want to call it um, has been beginning to talk to people about their experience and you know what what life has been like and how what they've been touched and what they're thinking. And so I thought today I would kind of play off of that a little bit. Um, and, and share a few things with you. If I was going to give this a title, I, I'd give it the title Fear or Grace. Um, and, and I'll unpack that just a little bit. But again, what I'm really going to try to do today is give you something that you can take maybe and, and, and meditate on and spend some time on and, and let it impact your life. So fear or grace. You know, one of the things, if I go back to, you know, mid-March and when, when things really started to unpack for this uh, this season that we're in and I started realizing, oh wow, this is going to change some things, you know. One of the determinations that I made right away is I refuse to be in fear. And, you know, fear is a thing that is just a killer. And it's not new to our world. It's always been there. And, and you know, you've dealt with it. I've dealt with it. We've watched other people uh, deal with it. We see it in advertising. We see it in government. Unfortunately, we see it in the church. Uh, we see it in our own lives. But I just made a determination that during this unusual time with all kinds of things that are unexpected, unknown, unfamiliar, um, that I just was not going to be in fear. And, and in thinking about that, I realized what's the opposite or, or what helps combat fear? Um, and grace is what came to mind, thus my title, Fear or Grace, because grace is God's ability, God's strength, God being who He is, and that being at work in you. That is the definition of grace, God's ability at work in you. So uh, for this video, um, I was thinking about 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7, uh, kind of fun in different translations, but in this one, for God has not given us a spirit of fear. Now I'm going to stop right there. That's, that's the first half of this verse. And I think it's, it's powerful. I mean, you could stop right there and over the next month, you could take that and just ruminate on it, meditate on it, spend time there and realize God has not given you, He has not given me a spirit of fear. So, I mean, there's so many ways, so many places we could go with that, right? But let's go on in this verse. It says, but he has given us the spirit of power and of love and a sound mind. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is a short video. <laughs> there's enough there to unpack for hours, right? And just to think that God has not given us fear. So if you have fear in your life, uh, don't take any condemnation. Don't take any guilt or anything over that. But just recognize it, own it, and say, you know what? I'm dealing with some fear, and God has not given that to me. But what He has given me is power, and He's given me love, and He has given me a sound mind. So that fear can change. That's the hope in that, is that what God has given us is the antidote to fear. So no matter what you're dealing with at this time, and you know, lives have been impacted in different ways. Um, some extreme, some not so extreme during this, this time this year, um, during this pandemic and all. But if you're dealing with a lot of fear, I just encourage you, own it, admit it, <laughs> face it, and then begin to own that God did, give, did not give this to me, but He did give me power, He gave me love, and He gave me a sound mind. So take that meditate on it. I hope it's a blessing to you. Thank you for joining me for a, a short minute here in, in uh, my living room. And uh, we just, we love you guys. Thank you so much. If you've taken the time to watch this, then you're a part of our lives and we appreciate and value that. You're so um, amazing and just amazing to have great and amazing friends. So um, God bless you and I'll see you again in a month.